Hey Daniel, yeah. you ready? Yeah. Come on, feller. What is going on guys? Me and Daniel here. We're about to go test this car out. I've got to go do a few data logs because this car has been getting a little bit of false knock, we believe. And we're going to have to go test it out to see because there's a race event later this afternoon that I'm wanting to go to. That's not going to open without the car being unlocked. If you guys didn't know, we got this ice tank installed back here in the Mustang. Finally, we've got our drain valve right there and we've got the in and outlet as well as another additional pump inside of this ice tank. So it's got a big opening right there so you can dump a bag of ice in there whenever you go to the track and keep everything cool with the supercharger so you don't have any heat soak or anything. So we're going to go ahead and shut the hood on this thing and we're going to take it and try to get some data logging done because it trapped only 136 where it should be trapping high 140s, at least mid 140s. So we're going to try and get all this stuff hooked up oh and we're gonna go test this thing out and get a few data logs sent over to him all right here we go you ready for this fire it up or try to it's only 65 outside you ready for round two <laughs> you cannot bring that with you you do know what we're going to do just go ahead yeah you can start it i'll set it up before we leave all right here we go take two Alrighty, uh... Good, good problems. <laughs> take three. Oh. Oh. You thought? <laughs> nah. Okay, here we go. You ready? It's gonna crank up on this one. You wanna bet? It's always the fourth one that it cranks up. You ready? Uh -oh. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. It's a coming. Mm. Here we go. This is it. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, feller. You got it. Stay running. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I think it's good. You smell that E85? Yeah, it smells good. It burns your nostrils a little bit. So the tuner is recording the uh, data log right here. All right, well, we'll try this. shift it goes and like slams yeah, your transmission like slowly dying yeah but that's what i'm thinking is triggering the uh false knock in the motor because it's got knock that sensors actually, and every time that it slams i think that that's what's telling it that's what i kept telling you i'm like i'm telling you it's got to be having false knock Six mile per hour for this weight is like a 650 700 horsepower trap speed i trapped 126 with 600 horsepower i'm assuming that it pulls timing at the be at the beginning of each gear because it's sending that shock so it'll probably once it uh feels that shock and it feels knock it shuts it down until you completely stop yeah and that's what i'm saying i'm wondering if me shifting really hard like that all that surge and that knock that you hear 
is triggering the false knock in the motor. That wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so that is my hypothesis, is that the reason that we're getting false knock is because between shifts, that loud clunking, the slamming down of the clutch just grabbing immediately and surging the whole entire drivetrain, it's probably surging that motor up there. And basically what those knock sensors are there for is in case your car, the motor is getting detonation or anything like that from bad timing or too much timing. Or in that event though, the motor needs to detect that it's getting detonation. That way it pulls a lot of timing. That way it's not gonna blow the motor up essentially. Because what happens with detonation is, is as the piston is going up still, it actually explodes or sparks a little bit beforehand as the piston's still going up and that's where you start hearing a knock from detonation. So the motor is trying to protect itself and it pulls timing. That way it basically goes into like safe mode. And I believe that that's what this motor has been doing every time that I shift really fast and the clutch just basically gets shocked. So we're gonna send these logs over to VMP whenever we get back and hopefully they'll give me some good news and say that that is the reason why and they're gonna desensitize the knock sensors and that way basically uh, we shouldn't have any more issues. But the bad problem about that is if I do get real detonation, I'll pretty much be on my own. <laughs> and that motor gonna go pow. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we just made it back home. I've got the tuner right here. We're gonna run inside real quick and go see if we can figure out what is going on. Daniel, turn that off. So I sent the two logs that we just went and did to uh, my guy that I know that will check the logs for me. And he told me, yes, it is knocking. So I got verification that false knock is a thing. So finally I get the answer on that. He said, but it's also lean. NA cars run a 0.83 AFR and this is showing 0.83 <laughs> for my AFR. He said pushing on the fuel system could cost you another motor. So is your fuel system maxed out? Oh yeah, it was maxed out whenever I was making 800 and something. Okay, so I'm waiting on VMP now to respond back and see what they say about it. Um, hopefully we can get a revised tune and get it all fixed up with the knocking issue and uh, hopefully we can take it to the track in a minute. We'll go figure out what to do with it I guess. I don't know. So yeah basically what that means is that I was right whenever I was talking about how my car was trapping so low and I was wondering what the hell was going on. Send it over and yes it was in fact false knock. So now I'm just waiting on VMP to get it, look it over and everything and tell me what they think that we can do about it. Um, I have an event that started 43 minutes ago that's a huge race event that we're still trying to make it out to but we're literally last minute crunch time trying to get everything taken care of. Oh! <laughs> Look, here's the knock. Here's the knock chart. Oh well, that's interesting. I wonder how that worked. So it's looking a pretty, yeah, pretty that, close to what we were thinking. Yep. So in between nearly every shift, it's knocking hard. A hard knock. Yeah. So the knock sensors are detecting a knock, even though it's just me shifting. No way. He said every time you shift, it pulls four degrees of timing and then holds steady <laughs> and then holds steady at another 1.5 degrees. It's pulling a ton of timing because it thinks that the motor's knocking, so it's pulling timing to save the motor. And I was wondering how the hell the car was only getting a 10.4 at 136 with that much power. Now it all makes sense. That's awesome to hear. Uh, every time that I shift, it is pulling four degrees of timing. Wow, that's, that's really bad. That's what I was saying, right so you're now. you're losing like 200 horsepower. Yeah, that's what I kept telling you. I was like, it's that, the trap speed that I was running, 136 on 4,000 around pounds, is about 700 wheel horsepower is what, Normally that trap speed means, and that's what I kept telling you. And you were like, "No, it's just because." It's well, just because. It makes sense now with the math that you were talking about. Yes. Said it's just like a 700 horsepower trap speed, but yep. you're supposed to be making 900. So, yeah, yep. like I understand that now. So it seems like we are pulling like 200 horsepower out of that motor. So, anyways, guys, I guess I'm gonna keep you updated on what we figure out. I'm waiting on VMP once again to look over the log figure out what we can do and hopefully desensitize those knock sensors. And if so, we're taking that thing to the track tonight. I don't care what happens. The temperature outside is perfect. We're running a nine second pass. I don't care. It's, it's just gonna happen, I'm telling you. Give me just a minute though. Let me talk to them and figure something out. I don't know. I just really wanna go run the car tonight. Alrighty guys, update. VMP has just sent me over the new tune. I flashed it onto the SCT here. We're gonna open up the car, get started. We're gonna try and flash this thing over onto the car. If it takes it, we will be good to go to the track tonight. Holy crap, I'm nervous. Got a program vehicle. And we're gonna use our new tune right here. Alrighty, here we go. This thing is taking forever to get figured out. I don't know why this car always wants to be a pain in my ass every time that it can take longer to do something than it needs to or be any kind of complicating, it will do it. 99% downloaded. Uh-oh. 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 Turn key off. 
Okay, I did. Turn key on. Okay, I did. <laughs> Let's see what happens. That looks so cool. You see how you can see the blower right there? Look at that. That's so neat. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yo! All right, moment of truth. That was loud. <laughs> moment of truth times two. Yo! We are in an ultra hurry. The track opened up three and a half hours ago and we're just now getting loaded up to leave. Okay, I have been working way too hard today to not have all of this go right. So I have this weird hypothesis where normally things go really terribly wrong, but I have a weird feeling that tonight is just gonna work. I've been having a lot of problems today trying to figure out what the hell is going on with this car. We finally got it figured out. Every single tuner that I have has been giving me problems trying to get this thing flashed on. It's been hours and hours to be working on this thing today. The only way that I will be happy is if it just works. Shut me down. 